The day has come. It is time for my bachelorette party. I'm so excited, but I'm also so unprepared. I'm learning a lot about myself throughout this process. I really thought I was a planning kind of galley, but it turns out I'm just really go with the flow. I'm kidding. I'm not that either. I'm just not prepared. And we all know when I'm not prepared, I do my skincare routine because that's the one area I can control. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people don't know about the sale because it's post Black Friday, post Beauty Insider sale, but but Sephora has the beauty for all sale that is for all, as it states. It doesn't matter what tier status you are, you get 20% off your entire order from December 2nd to December 11th. So I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite Biosance products that you guys already know that I love that you can get on sale. And I'm really gonna focus on sharing kind of some tips for winter skincare. I feel like a lot of us don't turn over our skincare routine or step up areas that we need to for the winter. So let's start off with the squalane and lactic acid resurfacing night serum. Lactic acid is an AHA, so it's great for exfoliation. And then there's also clover extract in there. It's just gonna kind of bump up the lactic acid. And then of course, in all Biosense products, you have the sugarcane squalane that is going to hydrate, 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 which you need to make sure you're balancing exfoliating and hydrating. I feel like in the winter, a lot of people forget the exfoliation step because you wanna hydrate, you're feeling a bit more dry and you just wanna pump in hydration. But if you're not getting rid of those extra dead skin cells and making sure that you're properly exfoliating, those hydrating products aren't doing as much as they should be. So I'm starting with my rapid plumping serum. I use this every single day, morning and night, all year long. This is just a staple in my routine and I think it always will be. And since I used the lactic acid last night, my skin is just so ready to suck in that hydration. So it's really, really getting deep down. Now I really wanna lock in that hyaluronic acid. So I'm gonna go in with the Squalane Omega Repair Cream. This cream is just so thick and luxurious. I should have showed you guys my new ones. You could see <laughs> all the product. I go through these so quickly because I just love the texture of this. It almost reminds you of, you know when you're baking and you're making like anything whipped, you're supposed to look for those peaks. I look for that in a thick moisturizer. <laughs> you know it's gonna hold its shape and it's just gonna create a beautiful barrier between your skin and the elements. You have your omega fatty acids, your ceramides, and of course your squalane, all for like the most extreme boost of hydration. I really like to get it under my eyes and around my lips. I even go on my lips. And with excess, don't waste it. Always rub it into the back of the hands. Your hands need skincare too. I'm just gonna let my skin be for the dry there. I'll put on makeup when I get there, but of course we're gonna put on some SPF. This is a squalane zinc. Oh, my hands are too slippery. The squalane zinc sheer mineral sunscreen. It's 14% zinc oxide it's incredibly sheer you're gonna see it as you're putting it on but it's gonna rub in so sheer you're not gonna have that weird white cast that you typically can get with a mineral sunscreen and then beyond the 30 percent spf it has water lily in it which is great for calming the skin if it does get any sun exposure of course the squalane again so we are hydration on hydration on hydration and look how glowy we are really the secret to a good glow is sunscreen if you are loving like glowy skin and you are trying every product you can to get the glow just put on sunscreen look at that I gotta go in like less than an hour and I have no idea what I'm packing or wearing or anything. So I gotta go, but don't forget you can shop all of these Biosons products. I will link them below in the description box below. You can get 20% off at Sephora for the beauty for all sale from December 2nd to December 11th. Let's go party. <laughs> I feel like I should be like. <laughs> Are you guys kidding? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to voice over a lot of this because we have music playing, but Oh my goodness, my friends went so above and beyond. The place was decorated, it was so magical and beautiful. They had these bags with all these little goodies in it and sweatshirts of the red team and the green team so we could play Camp Camden and see who the better team was. Spoiler alert, you know it's gonna be the red team. Look how happy I am, I'm just thriving. Like I just felt so special and excited the whole time my signs were so funny one chick that's it and one v for eternity i was losing my mind it is so funny they got me a veil i was clearly feeling myself in it having a ball we are here at camp camden we got team red against team green team red so poor team green is just gonna like loose oh wow just kidding team green's ready such a competitive crew. The first game was a relay, running down, chugging your drink, but you had to put the cup down 
exactly right. It could not fall over. And that proved to be kind of a struggle for our team. Steph dropped hers like three times and was so mad at herself. We did lose the first game, but it did not take the wind out of our sails because we came back and we came back swinging. But we did have a little too much fun. I can't believe we have to go to dinner drunk. Wait, drunk, wasted. We're gonna go to dinner wasted. I think you're gonna go to dinner wasted. Hey. I will. I don't even remember all the games. Of course, there was Flip Cup, which was very difficult. We played every man for themselves. So it came down to me and Mariah, but you know, I had to win it at the end. I'm the undefeated Flip Cup champ, come on now. I couldn't lose on my bachelorette party. We were all tied up two to two and somehow the tiebreaker became chugging drinks from this bowl collectively as a team, which was disgusting. But our team won and we were clearly so humble about it. Barely celebrated at all, doing my little victory dance. But you know, Rala is no quitter. She's over there chugging her team's drink. I don't know whose idea it was to start icing everybody, but this started happening right before dinner. Oh, girl. Oh. You can't make Heather, that sound. Heather, Heather, you pour it in the sink. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm gonna get a 360. <laughs> a 360 view. And then we prank called Taryn. Shh, shh, shh. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Hi. Taryn, I have to tell you something. Is it bad? It's, it's interesting. <laughs> okay, this is really awkward. Um, but I, I, you can't marry Cammy because I'm in love with you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you guys are so stupid. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what hospital? <laughs> <laughs> okay, love you, bye. <laughs> this is my only clip from dinner, but I think it was fun. I'm pretty sure we had a great time, but we were feeling it the next day for sure. We are all extremely unwell today, but we are going to wineries. <laughs> and we're going on bikes. How freaking cute. I've done everything to feel better. Hair of the dog, I had champagne. I got in the pool. I submerged my face in ice water. <laughs> I think it would help. <laughs> oh my God, my breath. Ow, baby. <laughs> I ate, did everything had Alka-Seltzer, so we're gonna rally. <laughs> Saturday was honestly one of my favorite days of my life. We rented these e-bikes to go around to the wineries and we all just kept saying how we wanna ride these every single day. We wish we had them back in LA. The wineries were great. We even saw a couple's real first look, which did feel a little invasive, but it was so cute. We were all sobbing. Maybe I was just sobbing. Our favorite winery was actually the guy's house who we rented the bikes from. Him and his wife have a small winery out of their home and it was the best wine, the best vibes. It was so beautiful. The perfect way to end our wine tour. But our night was not over yet. We went home and the girls cooked me dinner and not just any skimpy little dinner. They went all out. It was stunning. We had an Italian theme night because they all knew that if I didn't get married in Palm Springs, I really wanted to get married in Italy. So it's kind of Positano vibes. They set the table impeccably. We even had legit menus and oh, this pasta was so good. I'm like still dreaming about it. And then we just played some games, got in the hot tub. They had a video game from Taryn where I had to guess her answers to questions and I got points if I got it right, they got them if I got it wrong. And then we spent the night drinking and playing sardines. And if you don't know what sardines is, it's an extreme version of and seek and it is the best. Thanks for coming along to my bachelorette.